Hey everyone, this is the Aviator Burger, and this is the VGK Burger. Two outstanding burgers that I thought was worth mentioning. I found it at a bar and grill in Northwest Las Vegas. Since I live in Green Valley, I rarely come out this way, but when I'm out in this part of town, I like to look around for good places to eat. Browsing Yelp, I came across the pictures of the two burgers that I showed you in the beginning, and I decided to take a drive out here just to try it out. From the Bellagio to this place is about 18 miles, about a half hour drive. The drive could take longer if you're starting from Henderson, but luckily I was in the southwest part of town. I knew I was in the boonies when I started seeing the mountains get bigger. The place is called The Standard Tavern. It's a bar and grill, open 24 hours. Whenever I get tired of fast food or the subpar food at a lot of the casino coffee shops, a bar and grill in Las Vegas is a great option. A lot of the bar food in Las Vegas is pretty good. Most places have multiple screens where you can watch all kinds of sports games. They have a bar with gaming. Here's a look at their menu. I started off with an avocado toast. You can get it with an egg or without. I usually can't resist getting an egg, especially paired with an avocado, which is also kind of creamy, kind of made it sound really interesting. So I decided to get the avocado and the egg together, had little toppings of scallions or green onions. You can see that the egg was cooked over easy. That's how I asked them to make it. The egg was slightly runny and it paired with the avocado beautifully. The richness and the nutty taste coming from the avocado, perfect. And the scallions gave a nice little contrast to the egg and the avocado. Moving on to the burgers. The VGK burger named after the Vegas Golden Knights and the Aviator burger named after the minor league baseball team here. I couldn't choose between these two so I had to get them both. To the right is the Aviator and to the left is the VGK Burger. But reading the description of these things, it sounded really good and I had to try both of them. I got the VGK with onion rings and I got the Aviator with tater tots. Here's what it looked like when it first came out. The Aviator was huge between two Texas toasts on top and bottom. Tater tots looked great, fried perfectly, golden brown, crispy outside. And equally impressive was the VGK burger. Notice the bacon, pretty big pieces of bacon. And do you see that jam like thing on top of the cheese below the bacon? That's their jalapeno jam. What I liked about the onion rings here was that it was done right. I've been to so many places lately where the onion rings weren't fried correctly or the breading would just fall off or just wasn't fried crispy. This place did it right. Onion rings were on point and so were the tater tots. But looking at these burgers, you can actually look at the description of the burgers in the menu on their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. The Aviator comes between two grilled cheese sandwiches. That's right, two grilled cheese sandwiches. One on top and one on the bottom. And in the middle, that's where you have your hamburger patty with a hot garlic sauce, with egg and bacon, everything that I like. The Texas Toast grilled cheese was awesome. And for me, it wasn't too much cheese, not at all. As big as this thing looked, it wasn't that hard to take a bite. The grilled cheese sandwiches you can kind of mash together. In fact, it was pretty easy to eat. A lot easier than I thought it would be. I was taking some humongous bites of this thing because every mouthful was so good. In fact, I think I finished the half in about four or five bites. I only ate half and then moved on to the VGK burger. You can see the VGK also has some really thick slices of bacon. It does have avocado. It has pepper jack cheese and onion rings. And the kicker, their sweet jalapeno jam, which was really interesting. After the aviator, it might even look small, but it wasn't small at all. It was a fully loaded burger. If there's one thing that didn't have to be in this burger, I would say would be the avocado, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't mushy like guacamole, it was fresh avocado. It's an all around good burger, but the sweet jalapeno jam made it even better. That was really unique and good. It only took a few bites to finish the half of this one too. 
Now you know that I have to try the wings. I just can't resist wings. If you've been watching my videos, you know I love the classic buffalo hot wings, but they had a really interesting kind of wing here. It came out piping hot, kind of lost the handle on it. But here's a look at the wings menu. You can pause the screen if you want to look longer. They have a few different kinds to choose from. Now the classic buffalo hot wings I can get at most places, but I'm not going to be able to find this sauce. I went with the Alabama white. The Alabama white sauce looked like an Alfredo sauce with a similar consistency, but it tasted different. It wasn't as cheesy. In fact, it even had a little spice to it. I wouldn't say it's spicy. For the kind of spicy level that I'm used to, this was at best mild, but nevertheless, it did have a spice to it. And it had a creamy texture that went really good with the wings. It was similar to a ranch, not really cheesy, but it had that little kick like a peppery taste. I also had to try their fish and chips because they used cod and cod is my favorite fish for fish and chips. It's served in the classic style with your tartar sauce, your cocktail sauce and your choice of potato. I'm not overly picky but what I don't like about fish and chips is if they don't fry it right it comes out greasy or soggy. Here I didn't have to worry about it because it was fried perfectly. Everything was fried perfectly here. Everything from your onion rings to the tater tots and your fish and chips. And I love cod. Cod is a mild tasting fish with a slight sweetness. It's almost milky. It's a great tasting fish. My favorite for fish and chips. There's more than a few places where you can get fish and chips in Las Vegas. Some of them are 24 hours. There's even the famous Gordon Ramsay fish and chips. Surprisingly, one of the best fish and chips that I've ever had was at an Irish pub. But it was good to know that there is a place like this that makes solid fish and chips. The individually fried pieces of the fish weren't overly large, but they were solid. They were good. And the portion was just right. And remember, this is a bar and grill. It's not a seafood restaurant. And just FYI, I didn't finish everything. I didn't plan to. I planned to sample a number of their dishes. And I found everything to be really good at this place the Standard Tavern in Northwest Las Vegas. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.